Okay, before I get started, I didn't do one last week, but that's because I was buried under a pile of my final year university work, so... Sorry. Anyway, roll intro. Okay, so, big game, big game. Big game is stupid, it is absurd, it is ridiculous, it is unbelievably crazy, it's bonkers, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's so unbelievably cliched and I bloody well loved it, I really did. Big game follows the plot, well, it's a, you can sum up the plot in a sentence. The president's plane gets shot down and he's being hunted by people. Like big game, there you go, there's the title. And yes, the title is dropped twice. And yes, I smirk when it happened because title drops are just so fun, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're all, we're all watching the same thing here, yeah, yeah, we know what this is, big game. I honestly cannot describe it, I mean, if anything, it doesn't make sense. The trailers in this are slightly deceptive, although I probably shouldn't tell you this, but Samuel L. Jackson doesn't play the hard man, he plays the freaking work guy. Ironically, the hard man is played by a 13-year-old boy. Which who, I don't know his name is the actor, but he did a really good job, I thought. Also, I am sorry if I start to get a bit red. It is currently one of the hottest days of the year so far, I think. And my radiators are stuck on full. How I'm gonna melt at the end of this. But anyway, back to big game. I don't think I can say anything about it. It's stupid, it's insane, and it's fun. And it's really, really genuinely quite enjoyable. Samuel Jackson does a great job. Everybody in this does a great job. Jim Broadbent has a really convincing American accent, which surprised the hell out of me. And it kind of left the door open for a sequel, but I don't know if that's the right idea. I think this film would work best if it was a standalone film. Then again, a lot of people would have said that about Die Hard, so... What I will say now is that this film is actually gorgeous. I mean, it, the establishing shots in this are stunning. I mean, it's Finland, so it's gorgeous for a kickoff. I actually really want to go to Finland now. It rivals Lord of the Rings level of beauty. It's stunningly shot. It just looks like they took a camera on a helicopter and just flew around for days on end. Just like thinking, oh, that'll look good, that'll look good, that'll look good. And they really do. Everything about this film is actually really well done. The level of polish is genuinely very solid. As you're watching it, you'll sort of think in your mind, uh, these things don't make sense, and then suddenly, oh wait, no, yes they do. This film keeps you guessing, it kept me guessing, and I'm pretty genre savvy about these things, at least I like to think that I am. But it kept me guessing, it kept me thinking. This film, as you go into it, is plainly obvious what's going on behind the scenes, and instead of shrieking away from that obviousness and like trying to hide it and mask it and doing a really bad job of it, it just fully embraces it. Like in the first 10 minutes of this you know who the big on the ground bad guy is, but the mastermind bad guy, that's kept, you kept guessing on that. The, some things are kind of not told and it does leave you a bit ill-informed, but it, there's nothing else I can say. It's fun and if you want fun, Obviously, I'd say go see Avengers first, but if you've already seen Avengers, then this is, in terms of fun films, this is probably number two. It's gotten a lot of stick for some reason, and I have no idea why. I get the feeling it's pretentious critics thinking, oh, this is a mass market thing, it's not very good because of that. It's like, no, no, no. Something can be mass market and it can be spectacularly good. Again, I mentioned Die Hard, prime example. That's my go to dumb good action film because it's fun and sometimes especially given the past two weeks I've had I want fun fun is good I have run out of things to say about this film I really have I mean it's fun it's good go see it and thank you again for watching as always as always as always if you like this as always click the like button if you want to see my review next week of Mad Max Fury Road Click the subscription box and you'll get it in your subscription box on Monday. And funny story, <laughs> I have had such a manic crazy week and not doing one last week threw off my schedule completely, my internal schedule. So I thought it came out on Friday. <laughs> uh, now I went yesterday, as I normally do, I went to the cinema to go and see the films when you And I asked at the desk for a ticket on Sunday, yesterday to see Mad Max Fury Road, which does not come out until Thursday. I felt like quite the tit. 
But I get to see that next week, and you get to see my review next week. This has gone far too long enough, so I will just say thank you again and goodbye.